Welcome back. The details with Mihal al -Hamalewi. Foreign Minister Samir Shukri met on Monday his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov in Moscow. During the meeting, Shukri delivered a message from President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin. The message stressed on the strong Egyptian-Russian relations and coordination between the two countries on all issues of mutual concern. Shukri's talks with Lavrov focused on means of boosting bilateral cooperation in addition to regional and international files of mutual concern. Shukri and Lavrov held a joint press conference after the talks. Shukri said that Egypt is keen on continuing cooperation in Daban nuclear power plant and is and in the field of tourism as well. The foreign minister said that the talks also covered means of ending Palestinian-Israeli conflict based on the two-state solution. Shukri stressed on the importance of preserving Libya's unity and sovereignty and forcing mercenaries and foreign troops out of the country. He also called for ending the conflict in Syria. Shukri said that the talks covered the disputed Ethiopian dam and Russia's support to Egypt in the UN Security Council. He called for reaching a legally binding agreement. For his part, Lavrov said that he agreed with Shukri on holding two plus two meeting of foreign ministers and defense ministers of the two countries next year. He warned of surge of terrorism in Syria's Idlib. He called for holding the elections as scheduled in Libya. During his visit, Shukri will also hold talks with Russian Security Council Secretary Nikolai Patrushev as part of continuing consultations with the Russian side on the most important files of joint cooperation. Health Minister Hela Zayed said on Monday that there is no increase in the number of coronavirus infections or death rate over the past 10 days. Speaking during a press conference with U.S. Ambassador to Egypt, Jonathan Cohen, the minister said that there will, no, that there will be no halt in the educational process after making the vaccine available to all individuals involved. Zayed said that Egypt has received 8 million doses of coronavirus vaccine as a gift from the United States. She noted that doses of Pfizer and Moderna vaccines will be received in the coming days. For his part, Ambassador Cohen said that his country has given 100 million doses of vaccines to 60 countries. He held cooperation with Egypt in the field of curbing the pandemic. Egypt reported on Sunday 768 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 306,798 people since the outbreak hit the country in mid-February last year. The health ministry also reported 37 new deaths, bringing the total number of fatalities to 17,436. The ministry added that 695 patients were discharged from hospitals, rising the number of those who have recovered to 258,947 people. The Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmad Al-Tayyib, said that God assigned messengers to warn their peoples against spreading corruption on earth. This came in his speech to the Religion Leaders Summit on Climate and Education held in Italy. Al-Tayyib arrived in Rome after concluding a visit to Germany where he received medical treatment. <laughs> 